My name is Carrie, and I'm a wastewater operator at the Duffin Creek Water Pollution Control Plant. Today I'm going to take you on a tour of what a wastewater operator deals with at Duffin Creek on a daily basis and what you can do to protect the environment and help us be more efficient at our jobs. Duffin Creek was built in the 1970s by the province of Ontario and ownership of the facility has transferred to York and Durham region in the 90s. Since then, the two regions, along with the provincial and federal governments, have invested nearly a billion dollars into making Duffin Creek plant one of the most advanced secondary treatment plants in Ontario. My main role at Duffin Creek is to identify what is coming into the plant and ensure our processes and technology are working to produce clean, treated water that not only meets, but does better than regulatory requirements before it is returned to Lake Ontario. I'm an avid camper and fisher um, on the watersheds that feed into Lake Ontario and very aware of how our lifestyle and purchasing and disposal habits impact water quality. After all, our cycle comes full circle. So what we all need to be aware of is the impact on our lakes, rivers, and the environment. Lake Ontario is one of the five Great Lakes and is the main source of the Greater Toronto Area's drinking water. This is why it's critical for everyone to do their part in being environmentally responsible and protecting our lake. I grew up on a property with a septic system and was forced to learn incredibly early how what you put down the drain and toilet affects the wastewater system. I learned that pouring these fats, oils and grease down the drain caused blockages. Basically the only thing that we could put down the drain was water, pee, poo and toilet paper. That's it. You know, we are manned 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. There's always somebody here monitoring the process. We take multiple samples of each step of the process multiple times a day. A water champion can be anybody who is willing to learn and make a change to improve our water quality. It could be learning how to properly dispose of your fats, oils and greases, as well as learning that personal care products labeled flushable really aren't. Um, making a conscious change to, to not buy them or learning how to minimize their use and properly dispose of them. I do what I do because someone is always downstream. Watersheds know no boundaries and this plant is the last line of defense before treated water is returned back to Lake Ontario.